Cranes, rails, and coots make up the order Gruiformes. Members of this order are characterized by long legs and extended neck and often long bills that are useful for foraging in marshes and estuaries, although considerable variation exists among families. For example, cranes and rails have long, sturdier bills for feeding on an array of fish, amphibians, and vegetation. Coots have shorter, stockier bills, as they are primarily vegetarian, existing on duckweed, water lilies, and other aquatic plants. Gruiformes have anisodactyl feet, with three toes facing forward and one facing backward. Cranes have long, sturdy legs and toes for wading through flooded habitats, while rails have relatively slender toes for walking on top of mud and aquatic vegetation. Coots, as the only Gruiformes that swim, have specialized lobed toes. When walking on mud, the lobes fold back each time the foot is lifted, preventing the structure from impeding movement through dense vegetation. Gruiformes are highly terrestrial and rely on walking as their primary mode of transportation. For example, rails have one of the highest ratios of leg-to-flight muscles of any bird. Cranes are some of the more aerial members of this order, with some species, like the Santilla crane, traveling great distances for their annual migration, often over 7,000 kilometers one way. They have rounded wings with particularly long flight feathers that extend behind the body, making it look like they have long tails. This is notable because generally, Gruiformes have very short tails. Many species have brightly colored secondary sexual characteristics, such as the red shield on this American coot or the red patch of bare skin on this sandhill crane. In addition, cranes are known for their elaborate mating dances and have an extremely long trachea that is coiled in several places, allowing them to produce particularly loud vocalizations. <laughs>